Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to get a little down and dirty with my laundry. I'm going to be showing you how I built this laundry basket rack to help organize all of our laundry and keep it off our floor up next. Welcome back to Tinker Forward. My name is Jeff and I want to show you guys uh, all the ins and outs of this laundry uh, basket cabinet that I built. So my wife was uh, on Pinterest and jumped on Etsy and there's all sorts of different types of uh, laundry basket cabinets that you can buy. And frankly, they're not cheap. So uh, she had asked me if it'd be possible for me to build one and I figured I would share this information with you as well if this is something that you're interested in. Very convenient. Uh, the one I built has three different slots for three different baskets. We have a furniture store that's nearby that was actually throwing away their pallets and uh, to me, it seemed like a very good uh, use of some free wood to see if I could repurpose that and use that. So this entire laundry basket cabinet is built from those pallets. Now you definitely don't have to use pallet wood to build something like this. You can go to the hardware store and buy all the supplies. Actually, at the end of this video, I analyzed what this would have cost if I would have bought the wood at uh, like a Lowe's or a Home Depot. Stick around till the end and I'm gonna report to you on what this would have cost. There's a lot of uh, different tricks and things that I learned in breaking apart pallets. So I made a whole other video on just the best ways I found to break apart pallets. So if this is something you're thinking of doing from like pallet wood, you be sure to check out that video. That'll be linked down in this video description or a card will be popping up here somewhere. So first I had to measure the laundry baskets. I actually went with, uh, there's a company Sterlite uh, that sells these rectangular laundry baskets that seem to be the best fit. After measuring those, I went through and kind of sketched out the different dimensions of what I was going to use for the cabinet. Now, there's definitely different ways that you can do this. You don't have to use those baskets, but if you're interested, I'll leave links down in the video description showing you all the tools and things that I used during this project. So having two teenagers and then with my wife and I, we take a lot of showers in our house. We go through a ton of towels, so I wanted to make sure that this was going to hold up with all the weight of all that laundry. So using the wood from these pallets that I broke apart, I then kind of started to size out what pieces I felt would be best for this project. Uh, after I had all of the wood chosen, then from that point I went and marked all of my dimensions and went through and started cutting all the different pieces of wood that I was going to use. I really don't like splinters, so I went through with all the different pieces of wood and sanded everything and this made a huge difference. I think it also helped with the final product. Uh, I used an electric sander, which I think worked great. Can you imagine if I had to sand this entire thing by hand? Sanding is exhausting, so afterwards I took a little break. Hey buddy! Can we play? What is this? Oh, what do we got? Oh, yes! What is that? What is that? Can you give me kisses? Oh, ah, what a good puppy! Do you see everybody out there? What's happening? Hi. Ah. And keep your eyes open for Tinker, our little hidden robot, not my dog, but the little robot that we hide in all the videos on this channel. He's gonna briefly pop up at some point during this video, and if you happen to spot the hidden robot, take note of the amount of time into this video, the timestamp where he pops up and be the first person to let me know the correct timestamp down in the comments section below. And if you're that first person, I will give you a shout out in one of my future videos as well as add your name to our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. Okay, so back to work. Uh, I used all the pallet wood for this project and the thing I kind of learned about using pallet wood is it's not as straight as I'd like it to be. Now, some of the pieces were great, other pieces just were a little crooked, they were, had a little bend to them, and unfortunately, even trying to cut things to the right dimensions, the cabinet itself still had a little wobble to it. So, no problem, I just cut some small pieces of wood and added different sized feet to the bottom of the cabinet, and it had a little wobble to it. Before I did that, after adding those feet, it fixed the wobble, and this thing is solid. So I used two different size screws for this project. I used three inch long and two inch long. The main corners of this cabinet frame, I'm using two by fours, and so I was able to use three inch long screws, giving it that extra support needed to hold the boards together. However, on the rungs of the cabinet, going lengthwise where the baskets were actually gonna slide in, um, those are two by fours, but there's thinner pieces of wood, one by fours that are 
the long uh, pieces of wood going up and down, going vertical on this cabinet, a three inch screw would have been too long to screw into those boards. Uh, didn't want to uh, have the screws poking out the sides, so I used the shorter screws for those rungs. For all those screws, I had to drill pilot holes. Now, using the drill bit, I didn't want to accidentally go through both pieces of wood and be poking out the other side. I just wanted enough pilot hole depth so that I could uh, put the screw in. Those two inch screws, basically what I did is I just held them up to the drill bit and then I used a magic marker and actually traced on that drill bit how far I needed to go. Once I had the drill bit marked, then I knew exactly how deep to make those pilot holes. That saved me from having the drill bit go all the way through both pieces of wood and then having the other end of the board have some ugly holes sticking out. I wanted to make this as strong as I could, so I was originally gonna do two screws for each one of these rungs holding the laundry baskets. I actually went with four, just to give it that extra strength, thinking that the more laundry that is piling up in this rack, the more weight that's gonna put on each one of these rungs for the baskets. I'm glad I went with four screws instead of just two. So the cabinet construction has a front frame and a back frame, after constructing those, I then ran the rungs going from the front to the back where the baskets were going to slide onto. That's what actually holds the whole cabinet together. Once I had the whole cabinet assembled, I went back and I sanded everything one more time just to make sure all the edges were nice and clean. And I had the cabinet assembled. Now from this point, I could have chose to have just left it or paint it. And again, because I used the pallet wood, there were some burn marks, there were uh, just different you know, sides of the wood from the pallet that just didn't look the greatest. I mean, it wasn't bad. It definitely had a very rugged look to it, but I think I was looking for something just a little bit more clean, so I decided to paint it. I primed and painted it up, did a couple of different coats on it, and uh, went with more of a neutral color, and I think the cabinet turned out great. All right, so let's put it to the test. I'm gonna go get my son's laundry. Why does my son have so much laundry? All three baskets full of laundry, and things seem to be holding up good. Hey dude, let's see if you can fit in the cabinet. Okay. You fit. You have plenty of room. Plenty of room. So I tried to build the thing like a tank. Is it holding your weight? Apparently it is. <laughs> is it a fun cabinet? Yes. You think mom's gonna like it? Yes. Woo! Alright, well don't break it. Then mom won't have a laundry cabinet. Ah, yeah. And then let's get my wife out here. I wanna see what she thinks. Wow! It Turned out better than I thought it was going to. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for the confidence. Does this mean you're going to do more laundry, too? Uh, I suppose. Cool. Well, thank you for making this. This is awesome. You're welcome. So what's the final cost to build a cabinet like this? Now, I used all the pallet wood uh, that I was able to get from those pallets, so the wood didn't cost me anything. I spent about $25 in using all the different screws for connecting the frame, the main rungs for those baskets, as well as screws going into the top. Now, the wood itself, if I was going to go to Home Depot and buy all this, the 1x4s, the 2x4s, and the 1x12s, Priced it all out at the exact design that I did here. It would cost roughly right now today about $92 to build this. Now, if I would have just completely assembled this thing and constructed it from two by fours, two by fours were a lot cheaper than like the one by fours or the one by 12 boards that I used. You could probably cut the cost of this thing down in half, closer to about $50 uh, using that wood. Now the two by fours, a little bit thicker than the boards I used. It's going to add a little bit more weight to this cabinet. I mean, the thing's going to be built like a tank. Uh, but again, I was just using all the wood that I had gotten from those free pallets. Now, I just used some extra primer and paint that we had laying around. But if you were going to buy like a gallon of primer, a gallon of paint, probably looking at about another $40 to $50, depending on if you can find a sale on those items. Now, it didn't take me a full gallon of primer or paint to do this, but to me, it just seems to make more sense to buy primer and paint in those gallon buckets. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me building this laundry basket uh, rack. I hope this inspires you to do something similar. Links to everything I talked about in this video will be linked down below. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe 
subscribe button and you'll never miss any of my weekly videos that I do on this channel. And you don't want to miss any of the other videos, uh, do-it-yourself projects I've done on this channel, such as the robots that I installed to cut my lawn, the uh, security camera systems that I've installed and recommend, the uh, awesome light show for Christmas and Halloween that I do on my house in the 12 and a half foot LED mega tree that I installed. You can check out all those videos in the playlist popping up at the end of this video. My name is Jeff and as always I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome and I will see you in the next video.